guys welcome back to my channel to girl Wendy Benz for her butler and um, today's video is gonna be a little different I'm gonna come with a little um, few home truths that some people may be hurt by some people may think um, I'm seeing things from the wrong end of the stick I don't care it's my video and it's my content and I can say it however I want, respectfully, of course. So um, today I'm going to be discussing, showing, exhibiting, sharing um, some home truths on women of virtue and women that are schooling themselves in the art of patience. In the art of patience, okay? Virtue and patience. And if you, any of those two words attract you or trigger you, then continue watching. Uh, today, I wanted to share my intro into the walk of the truth and in scripture. And um, there was a verse in the Bible when I learned how to read the Bible and understand what is being said to me without interpretation from a pastor, a vicar, a bishop or whatever, me reading the words in the book and absorbing it and processing it, I found out that the Bible's pretty cold. It's a pretty harsh. It's harsh to the children of Zion. It's harsh. <laughs> if you can't handle harsh, then there's no place for you there. But um, when I understood what what the basically the message was, uh, Abba's chosen people have been so bad and we're going to be treated really bad in a discipline punishment by another group of people. Um, yeah, that's basically what I needed to understand and reading different parts of scripture helped me um, understand that. So what I want to do today, I understood that when what I needed to do and what the scripture was asking of me to do started from here and nothing out in the world could help me do that and why I reflecting on a couple of, well, not a couple of artists, but Janet Jackson, for instance, was a woman that I idled, in truth. I idled her growing up. She was, she made it easier for me to become friends with sin, with lust, with flesh. I studied her, how her videos were, the words that were being said, and um, I trained, I think I got an A, I would say I was an AB student in her class of um, <laughs> lust and lustful things, everything which was a sin, basically. And um, the things that she didn't teach me, I'm going to teach you today. I'm going to teach the daughters coming up behind me, I'm going to teach you today. It's a couple of songs, just so, you know, I'm not harsh. I've let you know my little background of me. Some of the songs that I loved of Miss Janet Jackson. Um, what have you done for me lately? Pretty good song, funky beat, but it taught me how to be a confident woman and expect and look for the man to do for me, not me to do for you, but look for what they can do for me and make me feel better about myself, basically. That's the message I took from that song. Another song she had was The Pleasure Principle. I don't really have to go any far. If you know what one plus one makes, that basically, right there, principles of pleasure, you know exactly what she's talking about, right? The Pleasure Principle. So as a teenager, yeah, I need, I need to know the law of pleasure, right? My pleasure principle today is 
practicing and achieving an A in being a virtuous woman and being patient. But Ms. Janet didn't teach me those things. She taught me the pleasure principle. She also taught me how to be nasty. She had a song called Nasty. Nasty thoughts, nasty boys, nasty. <laughs> she had all that. So of course, me wanting to be friends with that whole life of lust and thinking that's gonna make me confident and survive, which it kind of made me, it did make me confident in understanding of being able to pull myself through the realm of teenage adolescenthood. So um, I had to learn how to be nasty. She has a video, you can check it out. Another song, which definitely had me right in her class. I wasn't late for this class. Her song, If, If I Was Your Woman, If I Was Your Girl, The Things I'd Do For You. Um, what does it say? She touched, touched my thighs and thought of us a thousand ways. Make you call out my name. That's what she was teaching me. Touch thighs and how you can make your man call your name a thousand ways. Say your name, do things, do a thousand things with him that make him happy. If I was your woman, the things I'd do to you. Go deep. There's another song called Go Deep. All these songs, once you basically get into one for me, the pleasure principle brought me to nasty brought me to the song if brought me to the other song as well go deep like the words the lyrics and other artists today do the same thing to the the young women of today Beyonce does it Cardi B does it Nicki Minaj does it they have their titles they're doing the same thing Janet did but does y'all want you to do that when you have to give an account of your life does he want you to show him how you go deep? Does he want you to show him a thousand ways that you can uh, make your man call his name? Make you make your man call your name? Is that the account you want to give? You think your husband wants you to be able to do all this stuff? The pleasure principle? And all that stuff you think you can get a husband with all this stuff you can probably get a man but a righteous man is that what you're looking for so anyway that's what Miss Janet taught me and today I'm giving you my version of cleaning yourself cleansing yourself from that garbage if you want to cleanse yourself from that garbage. If you have a Bible in your time, I want you to go to Isaiah 64, 4. 64, 4. And uh, it reads, a nice passage. I'm going to start with this and then I'm going to get into what I was uh, going to do the video about. So 64, 4, Isaiah for since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear. Neither hath the eye seen. O God, beside thee, what he hath prepared for him that waiteth for him. So, do and see what happens when you do what is expected and asked of you. Thou meetest him that rejoiceth in worketh and righteousness. Those that remember thee in thy ways, behold thou art wrath, for we have sinned in those continuous, and we shall be saved. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. So, once I read that, I was like, oh, I'm unclean. And my righteousness, I'm trying to be good, is like a, a filthy rag. Like, are we really that bad? Yes. Yes, we are. 
you are filthy and you think learning how to be nasty and if I was your woman, if you were his woman, the things you could do to him and how many ways you can call his name or he can call your name and how to go deep. And the pleasure principle is going to make you any cleaner. Like I said, for those who have an ear, for he who have an ear, let him hear. But I'm going to show you today, if you want to be clean, this is what you need to be able to do to get to virtue principles. The pleasure principle in virtuousness and patience, the way a woman should be. Stick around, let's go. So I don't have a filthy rag and I don't think a filthy rag is going to give a clearer understanding of exactly what I mean by what you and I are perceived as before our almighty king and our father and the creator of all that's great. We're filthy. Now, I had this class um, in thought for a little while, but um, I left this, I intentionally left this in the condition it's in so you can get an understanding. It's my garbage bin. Garbage isn't clean. I got a little bit of garbage there on the floor too. Garbage isn't clean. It's filthy. Just so you have an idea of what you are, you and I are, to the Father of all. Let's go a bit further in. If you can take what I read to you earlier, then know this is what you got to clean up inside of you. This basically is your sin, your filth, your disgustingness. It's in your spirit, which you have harbored and edified your whole life. See the nastiness? It's not as nasty as I thought, but it's the garbage bag isn't in there. But look, crud, filth on the inside. On the sides is filthy. The wall is filthy. You are garbage. We are garbage in this world to the Father, and we have no place in his kingdom this way and if you understand that you are nothing we are nothing and all we have to do is work as hard as we can that is our main purpose is to attempt to clean ourselves but whatever we do we're still filthy but you need to have that understanding of what you are and work on that and put that on your heart and he will know he will know well he already knows who his chosen are that he will know that we're begging to be worthy of him. So what we're going to do today, ladies, that want to be virtuous, we're going to clean our garbage bins. Our husbands are going to come home, put their stuff in there and see a nice clean garbage because that's what we virtuous wives and women do. So we're going to get started. We're going to clean. I'm going to show you. Yes, women, sisters, from wherever you are, Gentiles, daughters of Zion, anywhere you are. You can, this is what you do. This is how you love. Do his commandments and keep yourself correct. Never mind Janet and Cardi B, because I ain't going to show you that this is what real women do.
Okay, so we are done the garbage and as you can see the crumbs and stuff which was cleaned up and the walls nice and clean not gonna put a nice clean garbage bin on dirt and filth now are we ladies so this is my old girl she's been she's been um, with us for over a decade very good bin my husband said steel never dies so that's why she's still here but she's been cleaned right off I use it, I don't really believe in stainless steel cleaners, but um, I think my cleaner's cleaner just fine, as you can see, she's nice and shiny. Anyway, so we've cleaned her out inside. All the muck and the dirt is gone. The sides are clean. These are rust spots, because she's so old. She's starting to rust, but that's okay. She does the job just fine. And then the nice clean bin goes back inside there. So yes, you're not going to get teachings of how to do things like this from Janet, and Cardi B, Beyonce cleaning no garbage bin for sure. So sisters, like, I'm not saying don't watch that stuff, but um know what you're watching if you feel like I watch I watch um the bachelor and things like that but it's garbage do I need some downtime yes yeah, so what am I going to do in a downtime I'm going to watch maybe some garbage but that's what it's, it is it's not there to edify you when you know something um when you need to be edified with something righteous that can give you wis wisdom and knowledge the right way clean your garbage bin and do other things that the spirit wakes you up to do Hearken to it. Don't ignore it. All right. Like and subscribe. I'm going to do another teaching or something else another day. So that was my first uh, teaching uh, for my young sisters, daughters, and um, <clears throat> wives that are trying to walk in a righteous way. I'm going to do more and share more with you guys because it's really important and you have uh, you have to address that you have a purpose just like your husband does or your partner and it's important to the father, it's important and you need to own that if you are to be one of his chosen children because remember not all of us are elects right so work on it continue to watch i'm going to do some more videos on it like and subscribe to my channel if this kind of content intrigues you and you want to learn more and how to make positive choices um, with purpose not just positive because you need to make choices in your walk of life that have purpose meaning and a waste of time and i'll share another scripture with you on that another day so until next time I'm going to go clean off all this garbage smell that's still lingering around me. Thank you for watching. Take care and...